All right, so today we have an amazing source code. It's uh, don't touch the spike. It's actually a clone of it, and we call it don't crash on the spikes. Now, if you guys are not very familiar with it, I'm going to give you a little demo right away. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Uh, let me play, and you probably will understand straight. Okay, so the advertising. Purpose of the game is to just tap and you need to avoid the spikes, okay? So there's gonna be some spikes right here on the top of the ceiling, on the bottom, on the floor, and there's gonna be some on the side, okay? So let's play. So it gets harder and harder, and as you can see, I just lost. Here is an ad, and we have different menu buttons, okay? So as you can see, there's more and more spikes, so it gets harder to play. I'm just gonna stop here. I wanna show you all the functionality that this comes with, so let me put the sound down. Okay, so this actually comes with even more functionality than the actual original game. By the way, the original game is already a clone of the uh, Bouncy Ninja game, okay? Which is already some kind of... Uh, a trend that's based on Flappy Bird. So this is a mix of Flappy Bird with Bouncy Ninja. And now it's called Don't Step on the Spikes, all right? So um, now I want to show you that obviously what it has that the original doesn't have, it has a rate right here. So you can actually rate the game right here. This goes very viral. You have the game center just like the original. You have share on Facebook. The original does not have that and share on Twitter. So let me just show you, work straight off the box. Okay, can share. Same thing with Twitter. Okay, really easily. And it also has in app purchases that the original does not have. So let me click here and show you. Then uh, the game comes with this one, it's free, and then you can buy these. So you can set the price. I put the price for 99 cents for this one and the gold bird for 199. So let's use the, um, the gold bird. Let's buy it. Okay, buy. All right, there we go. So as you can see now, we have the Gold Bird Edition. And uh, this source code comes all animated. And by the way, all the uh, graphics that you get here are all made from scratch, okay? So you get the free graphic pack with all the Photoshop and Illustrator images and assets, which means that you can easily make your own. You don't have to make it from scratch, okay? These are open source. Feel free to reuse them and feel free to customize them to make your own okay you don't have to start from scratch that's great so by the way as you can see here it has a trail do you see that purple trail and by the way everything are images here so it's really easy to just change the images I'm gonna show you okay and I'm gonna show you the death animation right here we have the smoke smoke effect and the death okay all right, so uh, that's pretty much what the whole game is about. Oh yeah, something else I wanted to show you is that uh, the uh, background is animated. So as you can see right now, it's like kind of a grayish uh, color. And if you move to, um, to a score of five and up, so every five points, it's actually changing. There you go. As you can see, now it went to a color that's a little bit more um, on the purple side, okay? So let me try to get better. Uh, well, I didn't get it, but anyway, so as you can see, the background changes colors. Obviously, the code is dynamic. You can remove that if you don't want that, okay? In the sense that if you want to make a game that does not change the background, there's no problem. I'll show you in the code. You can just disable that. All right, so now let me show you a little bit more of the code. So I'm going to Xcode. All right, and there's one file called the global.h file. That's all you need to know. Here it has the share message, the one that's shared on Facebook and Twitter. And here, don't worry about the screen wipe and all this, you know, no problem. Which font is getting, uh, is getting used. And here it has a link to all the fonts that you can use straight out the bat. The Apple ID for rating, this is the one you get from iTunes Connect. Traboost app ID. Trabo signature. RevMob app ID. AdMob banner ID. The leaderboard ID and the two in-app purchases, okay? The rest is totally optional. You do not have to change it, okay? If you want to, go for it. You can go more in details. Now, for you also, for the people that actually want to go all out, 
you just have to go in the gameplay layer.mm file and all the way at the top of it you can really tweak the game mechanics okay so everything is here to get uh, to get tweaked so if you want to change the background theme automatically you have a yes if not just put no and the colors won't change now the play space area you can make it a lot sh shorter okay right now it's 350 um, you if you uh, shorten down that number it would make the space a lot tighter okay now you have the spike scales you can make the spikes longer or um, or larger you can um, um, increase the number of spikes on the ceiling and on the roof okay you can also um, change um, the character scale you can make the character bigger or smaller the jump duration how long is the jump how high the character can jump okay what's the gravity pool you know uh, in the sense that how how long it takes the character to fall and uh, and go down and the drift the drift is um, how it goes to the next uh, to the next wall at what speed okay now there's a trail as, as you can you could see there was a trail following the character you can set the trail um, size okay now these are the font colors the maximum is 255 so you can change the colors were right there those are rgb colors so you can go on the internet and look for rgb colors and this is the font menu for when it's the small ones okay rgb right now it's white okay then it changed the color theme of the background every five every five points it changes now you can put that to every point every two points or every 100 points it's up to you okay and uh, that's pretty much it with this you can make as many games as possible by the way so let's take a look at the graphical assets all right so i'm gonna go in the resources folder and in the textures folder i'm gonna right click and show in finder by the way before we even get there i want to tell you that uh, all the sounds also are uh, royalty free sounds so feel free to use the sounds that come with the game or change them it's up to you and by the way the sounds are in the sounds folder and as you can see there's only five sounds it's that easy the background music then the the death the fly and the score up and the button when it's clicked that's it okay now the textures so obviously in the background you have the background for um uh, iPhone 3.5, iPhone 4, iPhone 5S and so on and uh, for retina and non-retina display and for iPad and iPad with or without retina display everything is here and as you can see right now the background is just a white, white image but feel free to add any uh, any background you want, any landscape it's up to you, you can have um, you can have just mountains or rivers or anything you, you, you can think of you can actually reuse um, stuff from Flappy Bird no problem characters so the animation of a character it's very simple there's only three of them there's a fly an idol and a fall okay that's it and uh here is the gui now the gui you don't have to change anything but it's basically all the menu okay all the menu items share on facebook you know um twitter replay and so on it's very simple to change obviously you just you can just change that color no problem now let's take a look at in app purchases as you can see in in-app purchases, these are the buttons from the in-app purchase screen. And this is the second character with the same animations as the, um, as, as the first character. And then the third character, again, same thing. All right. So th these are the animation. All right. Pretty straightforward. All right. Now the score background. This is just the background of the score. It's, a, it's actually a, a round box. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's it's white on, on white, so we can barely see it, but you can change the color, no problem. The smoke effect, you don't have to change anything here, you just leave the smoke effect. Now, here are the spikes. As you can see right now, the spikes are white, so it's pretty hard to see. Um, now, you can wonder how come the spikes here are white, but in the game, they, they're not white, they have different colors. It's because um, the colors are gen uh, generated dynamically, but obviously, if you turn the, the color theme to off, you just go to Xcode and right, right here, change theme, you put that to a no, okay? So let's say you would put that to a no. You can change the colors of the images, no problem, okay? So you would actually put the image colors you want. All right, now here is the trail. So the trail is what follows the, um, the bird whenever you move around. Uh, feel free to add anything you want. You can put a star, you can put a heart, anything you can think of. And here are the walls, okay? So you have the, the top wall and 
and actually the bottom wall it's the same wall okay so it's just reuse on the top and on the bottom it's very easy and that's it i went through all the graphics that are within the game it's really that easy and the way the source code has been created it's been created in a way that it's totally reusable and can make all types of games really quickly and easily all right i hope you guys um, enjoyed that as much as i do and uh, by the way uh, this is not all this comes with also a graphic pack so we give you graphic packs of all the graphic assets that we created within the game okay so as you can see we have them even in higher resolution we have the bird the gold version we have the silver one and we have them also in uh, PSD files for Photoshop and also for Illustrator. So you guys can just modify them and create some other shapes. You know, it's really up to you. And uh, we also have the icon. So the icon is also as a PSD file. So feel free to just modify it. And uh, we also have the menus right here. And also we have free uh, graphical characters for you ready to drop in. Okay, so as you can see, we gave you these characters that are totally free to use okay they are not within the game so feel free to put them yourself so it's really just a drag and drop isn't that funny huh take a look at this all free you don't even have to uh, go and find a freelancer you can just reuse this all right isn't that great huh and look at the sailor also all right so um i hope you guys can make awesome source codes and awesome games um, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me at uh, johan at appsfresh.com or info at appsfresh.com. Okay, thank you for watching. See you guys.